okay you can uh, we can continue the discussion of uh, some frequency and difference frequency generation okay so actually we have not discussed uh, 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 the, the schematic diagram and as well as uh, the energy level diagram of some frequency and difference frequency generation so that we'll discuss in this small video so suppose if you have okay, a nonlinear crystal with uh, chi to susceptibility the second order nonlinearity and they have incidented two different frequencies Yet this this would be omega one, omega two. We can produce a new frequency. So if it is omega one plus omega two, it is called some frequency generation. So how we are getting the some frequency generation? Okay, so initially. Uh, the atom would be in the ground state the atom or the molecule will be in the ground state and if you insert and uh, both these frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 what would happen is uh, uh, this atom will uh, excite it to some a higher energy level by absorbing one of these uh, photons. Suppose it absorbs omega 1 and reaches this level. And thereafter, it will be absorbing omega 2 and reaches some other level. So first, it's absorbed by omega 1. Second, absorbed by omega 2. So it is uh, a kind of uh, uh, the, uh, the two photon absorption but it is absorbing uh, the photon of a different frequency, different energy. Okay, so um, then we can see that the second harmonic generation is actually the generalization of some frequency generation. So in the case of uh, second harmonic generation, it is again a two photon absorption, but uh, it absorbs the same frequencies. But here it is a two photon absorption, but uh, uh, the light of different frequencies. So one is reaches the the uh, double excited level. So from that uh, it can de excite to the ground level, and when it de excites, it will emit a photon, and uh, its frequency would be omega one plus omega two. So this is the, uh, the the energy level explanation, the, energy, uh, the explanation of uh, some frequency generation using the energy level diagram. Again, uh, the dotted line that we that we have shown here are not uh, the eigenstate of atom. These are virtual state. And it is the, what is virtual state? state is energy eigenstate of atom field system atom field combined system so that is what is in with the virtual state okay so that is the uh, the simple explanation of uh, the some frequency generation now how will we explain the difference frequency generation Okay, so we can take the uh, same picture. Sorry. So you incident uh, omega one, omega two frequency to a, a nonlinear crystal, which is having second order nonlinearity. And uh, it is possibly under the, the proper phase matching condition, it is possible to generate omega 1 minus omega 2 or omega 2 minus omega 1, just depending upon 
uh, which is greater. Okay, we'll, uh, obviously we'll get uh, the magnitude of omega one minus omega two. So how that is possible? So this is uh, uh, called the difference frequency generation. So we can explain it uh, using energy level diagram. So again, the starting point is uh, the ground state of uh, the atom. So from the ground state of atom, first of all, it will absorb the omega one frequency. So here, uh, both this so both this frequency is incident here. So both omega one, omega two is incident. Okay, so it will it absorbs omega one and reaches some energy level, virtual level. So what we am assuming is omega one is greater than omega two. So that is why we have to near omega one minus omega two. We have to assume omega one is greater than omega two. So the, by absorbing omega one, it reaches an excited level. So there is no a double excitation. It is a single excitation and a single photon absorption. And, and now what happened is there is an omega two already present here. Now this omega two, sorry. This omega two will stimulate uh, this uh, system to de-excite. So it is basically a stimulated emission. So by the stimulated emission, it emits or it de-excite by an amount of omega two. And which is a level here. Okay, so after that, uh, finally, it uh, uh, de excite to the ground state. And once when it is de exciting the ground state, the difference in energy would be liberated and difference in energy would be equal to cross omega one minus omega two. So here the emission would be omega one minus omega two. So is energy level diagram of uh, uh, the difference frequency generation. Okay, now, uh, so then uh, we have a question that uh, uh, this is possible even in the absence of omega 2. If omega 2 is, is present, then it would be a, a stimulated emission. This we can say that uh, this emission is, can be called as stimulated emission, but even in the absence of omega 2, this kind of process may happen. Okay, so that is also possible. Okay, such phenomena can occur even in the absence of omega 2. So here omega 2 is uh, stimulating the uh, the system to DXA to uh, an another virtual level, a lower virtual level. And finally, we are getting omega 1 minus omega 2. But uh, the same thing can happen even in the absence of omega 2 if such virtual levels are present. OK, so then uh, this phenomena, if uh, this happens in the absence of omega 2, then such phenomena is called as uh, the parametric fluorescence. This phenomena is called as parametric fluorescence. So parametric fluorescence. 
Okay, so with this, uh, we have uh, explained in detail about the sum frequency generation, difference frequency generation using the energy level diagram. And uh, apart from that, we also introduce a new phenomena. So this is uh, a new box. Okay, so this kind of phenomena can occur even in the omega 2 is not present. And if that is the case, it is called the parametric fluorescence. Okay, so we can stop it here. So in the next class, um, uh, we can discuss about uh, uh, either third order nonlinear process uh, or uh, better we can discuss about uh, the optical parametric oscillation. Okay, thank you.